Have you heard of ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI tool that allows you to have conversation with it. You can ask any questions and it'll provide you the responses. You can ask follow-up questions as well so that you can have a proper conversation with it. In this video, I will show you how ChatGPT can provide you detailed instructions to implement Google Analytics 4 on your website. The audio that's provided while the ChatGPT is providing you the instructions is generated by AI as well. So let's see how ChatGPT works and the instructions that it provides. So let's go ahead and write our question. Once you're done writing your question, go ahead and click on this arrow to generate the response. Now here ChatGPT is providing you step-by-step -step instructions. I'll let it write the complete instructions. Then I will let another AI convert these instructions into an audio so that you can listen to those instructions rather than me reading them. So far, I like what it's producing. It's giving you instructions for implementing GA4 using Google Tag Manager. And now it's done. I'll let another AI convert this text into an audio. How do I track my website in GA4 using GTM? To track your website in Google Analytics 4, GA4, using Google Tag Manager, GTM, you'll need to follow these steps. Create a GA4 property in your Google Analytics account if you don't already have one. This will give you a GA4 tracking ID, which you'll need in the next steps. Create a GTM container for your website if you don't already have one. This will give you a GTM container ID, which you'll also need in the next steps. Add the GTM container code to your website. This typically involves adding a few lines of code to the end tags of your website's HTML. You can find detailed instructions for this in the GTM documentation. In GTM, create a new tag and choose the GA4 configuration tag type. In the tag configuration, enter your GA4 tracking ID and select the page view event as the default event to send to GA4. You can also customize the tag to send additional events or data to GA4 as needed. Preview and test the tag to make sure it's working correctly. Publish the GTM container to make the changes live on your website. That's it. You should now be able to see data from your website in your GA4 property. You can use the GA4 reports to view this data and analyze your website's performance. There you have the complete instructions. Now, if you don't like this response, then you can click on generate response to generate another set of response from chat GPT. You can also mark this response with thumbs up or thumbs down so that the AI can learn from it. Go ahead and click on generate response. Now, ChatGPT is writing another set of instructions. Once that's done, if you don't like it, you can again request another response. Now the instructions are complete. Let's scroll up and let AI read these instructions. How do I track my website in GA4 using GTM? To track your website in Google Analytics 4, GA4, using Google Tag Manager, GTM, follow these steps. Set up a GA4 property and get the tracking ID. Sign into your Google Analytics account and click the Admin button in the bottom left corner. In the Property column, click the Create Property button. Follow the prompts to set up your GA4 property. Once your property is set up, click on the Tracking Info tab and then click Tracking Code. Copy the Global Site Tag, tag.js, code. This code includes your GA4 tracking ID, which you will need in the next step. Set up GTM. If you don't already have a GTM account, sign up for one at tagmanager.google.com. Create a new container in GTM and select web as the target platform. Follow the prompts to set up your container. Set up the GA4 tag in GTM. In GTM, click the add a new tag button. Give your tag a name, such as GA4 tracking. Under Tag Configuration, select Google Analytics, 
GA4 configuration as the tag type. Paste the GA4 tracking code you copied in step 1 into the global site tag, tag.js, field. Select your GA4 property from the GA4 configuration dropdown. Optionally, you can set up triggers to specify when the tag should fire. For example, you might want to fire the tag on all pages or only on certain pages. Click the Save button to save your tag. Publish your changes. Once you have set up your GA4 tag, click the Submit button to publish your changes. Your website will now be tracked in GA4 via GTM. Note, it can take up to 24 hours for data to appear in GA4 after you have set up tracking. As you can see, it provides you great instructions. Some of the things might be here and there, but as this AI learns more stuff, it'll become better and better. I assume within a year or two, it'll replace a lot of jobs. What do you think? Let me know in your comments. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I will be posting more such videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.